The Ministry of Agriculture on Monday received a shipment of liquid nitrogen in preparation to commence artificial insemination of cattle. The Ministry procured sperm from Red Dog Farm, a commercially operated farm in the United States. The aim is to promote genetics and the availability of beef on the local market. Red Dog Farms is known for supporting breeding programs and cattle farmers promoting hardiness, heat tolerance and heterosis, as well as carcass quality. The project received funding from the OECS Regional Agriculture Competitiveness Project, or AGRICOM, and the World Bank's Food Security Enhancement Project. During the past week, Two representatives from the commercially run farming business conducted a support mission to Grenada, engaging and training Ministry of Agriculture staff and farmers, offering strategic advice on procedures for administering high-quality semen. The team also looked at the importance of animal health and nutrition. Veterinarian Dr. Alfo Sanchez says from their engagements, there is huge potential for the cattle industry in Grenada. We run around this tropical island seeing grass this deep, mangoes, sugarcane, you know, grain factories. There's potential here, right? And there's potential for y'all to really help your country people here. And uh, this project is going to be really important for, you know, it being able to help your country provide actual food and protein for your people, right? And um, sometimes, you know, we get to complacent where we go, eh, hey, it's not that important, it's just work, but the fruits of this could be very beneficial, right? Another team member, Paul McCollum, explained that the artificial insemination program provides the framework for the ministry to engage farmers to build wealth. A country that has to import its food is not a wealthy country. If you provide all your food from from the country, then you start developing wealth because you don't have to buy that and bring it in. And for you guys, it's a long ways to bring it in. So yeah, you have the potential to, to have cheap protein for your people on this island with that. So. The vet and livestock officer is Dr. Kimon Cummins. He says they will see a good returns for farmers as there will be a 30 to 40% increase in production. Their cattle were selected for a very low butt weight and accelerated growth rate. Um, you know, there was still some still some concerns in terms of the frame of the cows. And um, overall, they're very much satisfied. Uh, we, would, we would have not just meet but exceeded their expectations in terms of uh, the quality of uh, cattle that we have in Ireland. But we, we foresee um, over the next coming year or two, um, we should see um, an increase in uh, the carcass weight, um, not just the, the weight but the quality of the carcass because uh, this cattle is actually selected for um, nice marbling uh, which is the fat inside the meat and good quality carcass, nice thick skin. Frankie Buckmeyer, livestock assistant who, who worked with the past insemination program is looking forward to its resumption. The ministry's last insemination drive was held about 10 years ago. Farmers interested in artificial insemination program can register at the district extension offices or by contacting the Ministry of Agriculture via its social media platforms. Christina John, GBN News.